uh, frustrated uh, and disappointed, of course. Uh, it's got a landmark today for, for players at the club, which is always important to try and uh, recognise and celebrate, which was obviously Danny's 50th European game and James's 100th game for the club. Two debutants today and, uh, you know, Hugh Tazard's first European start as well. Um, look, we were in the game for large parts. Um, I, I thought that we were competitive, um, showed a lot of fight and desire, but we're just too inaccurate uh, in the first half in terms of execution and in the second half in particular in this middle third of the field here uh, we were too ill-disciplined with uh, you know two three needless penalties to give away which which really cost us and uh, you know, the outcome of that was 14 points effectively and uh, that took the game away from us. Yeah, look, we, we kind of identified three things. We felt the breakdown, you know, they, they were a bit more ruthless than we were in terms of their attack and breakdown. You know, they got away with a little bit around the tackle contest area, full stop today. But, you know, you can get that, obviously, in European rugby. Uh, so the breakdown was something we wanted to try and focus on. Uh, we had to tidy up our line-out. Our line-out was a bit scrappy in the first half. And uh, we wanted to see a bit more urgency in our kick chase because um, we, had, we had a bit of a wind advantage in the first half. Uh, we knew in the second half we still have to kick the ball. You still have to try and control the field against a team that are dominated uh, by territorial thought. Um, so we knew we had to kick, so we knew we had to chase and then try and regather and turn over possession that way. Um, so those were kind of three key messages. Um, you know, the second half we started pretty well and, um, you know, two or three moments inside their 22, but we weren't able to translate that into to more scores other than the brilliant try that Caden scored uh, in the corner. Yeah, look, I mean, Luke's been a really instrumental player for us over the last three games. Um, he brings a lot of energy, a lot of noise, got strong personality, which is important in rugby. You know, you can have lots of talent and lots of uh, ball handling skills and so on, but you also need a personality in the field to talk, to communicate, to drive energy of those around you. And Luke's been, been really strong with that. Obviously, both our centres from last week and the last three weeks didn't play today. Um, Paul Izicki, unfortunately, got injured. Joe Marchant's on the rest EPS week. And uh, to have Luke drop out last minute, again, I'm pleased with the, the squad. I'm pleased with their ability to deal with adversity. For James to come in, having hardly trained with us over the last eight nine weeks, having been away with Scotland, uh, you know, did a, did a pretty decent job, you know. And it um, it wasn't those performances that cost us. Uh, it's two or three silly penalties in the middle field, uh, a lack of ability to, to finish off things that we had inside their 22. But look on, on the on the on the balance of it, probably when we watch the video, um, I think probably Munster were the better team today. You know, we, we were fighting in there, and we didn't really break them down too much. And as I said, I said Peace probably didn't give us the platform that we needed to, to, to really put them to the sword. But lots of positives. Uh, two debutants, as you said, uh, but both acquitted themselves pretty well. Hugh Tizard, again, I, I thought, stepped up and uh, had a really strong game. And there's two or three other notable performances. And um, look, I, I look forward to watching it. I look forward to preparing for Racing. Yeah, look, we're obviously excited to play Racing. It's uh, you know one of, the, one of the strong teams in Europe over the last kind of two, three seasons. A team littered with international talent, very much like Munster. You know, a lot of international players return to their team. Uh, you know, based Based on test match intensity and you could see that from the likes of uh, Tad Byrne and, 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 the, and the likes of those kind of guys. Racing at home uh, will, be, will be good, uh, we're looking forward to prepare for it as a coaching group, the players will get excited for it and uh, you know all things being willing, uh, hopefully we have a crowd there that's stupid as well and they can see a team that are fighting for each other, that are playing hard for each other, that are dangerous and um, you know we've had two obviously bonus point wins pr prior to tonight. We didn't quite get the result that we wanted today and uh, we'll look at those, we'll address our discipline and uh, we'll put ourselves in a better chance to be able to compete.